With the sketch completed, I want to go in and check how it looks. It looks just a little flat on the top there. So what I can do is move these control points. So I'm changing the shape of the spline. That looks a little better. Let's go to the right hand end where that nose cone is. And I want that to be smooth at the right hand side. Now notice how the line looks as if it's straight. That's because I've zoomed right in. It's that colored curve that's we're checking. And it looks pretty good. Press the F6 key to zoom out. I'm now going to revolve the first of the profiles. So I'm going to select Revolve. The next thing I want to do is select the axis. Let's look at it just a little bit better. I selected the Home view. So with the profile selected, select the axis of revolution. Enter 360 for a full revolution. Enter to finish that off. I'm going to repeat the workflow for the nose cone. So select Revolve, select the axis of revolution, and because I entered 360 and I can go to the drop down list and select 360 from the list. Complete the revolution. The typical workflow now is to turn off the visibility of the sketch. To do that, I go to the list and select Height Sketches. I want to change the material so my rocket looks a little better. So I've selected two faces. and I'm going to go to the Metal in my design library. Most of these are pretty good. You can select whichever one you want. I'm going to select Chrome. So right click, Assign to Selection. As you move your cursor over those, you will get a highlight in the background as to what they are. Similarly for the nose cone, this time we want it to be a bright color. So I'm going to go to plastic where I know there's a red glossy color and assign that to the selection. That looks pretty good. In the next video, we're going to be adding the four supports to the left-hand end of the rocket body.